people are hungry. I was just in Africa just recently. I didn't go for a while, a few months, because I had this accident, but I went on. And I tell you, folks, but anyway, I was in Mexico. We, we had people that, with a lot of blind people being healed down there. We just recently in Mexico had three people, no eyes, one person, no eyes at all. They got totally destroyed. And others are no eyes, not just blind, but no eyes. And God had been creating that, not because of me, but because this kind of word, faith comes by hearing and hearing by this right here. Trust. Yes, sir. This is the only thing that you can get real faith. Yes. King James Bible. Yes, sir. Now all these modern Bibles, I don't, I wouldn't have you. They say the Moffat, but I ain't reading nothing but this myself. Yeah. You say why? Well, it's give me a good wife. <laughs> you know these women. They, they don't. Ain't too many women live with nobody star dog, somebody like me. <laughs> Going all the time, and <laughs> that's really never had some bad time. People just didn't want to say, "Oh, people are falling in love with the preacher," you know. But boy, they when you ain't there never no more. They don't want you no more. <laughs> but anyway, we'll drop that. But we love each other. But when I saw her, you know, and I thought, man, something. That my heart started flopping around her like a fish caught all the water. <laughs> Man, I thought to myself, I rebuked myself, put my hand on my head, said, Devil, I rebuke you. <laughs> but he didn't rebuke. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory. Glory. And every time I'd see it, my heart jumped like that. And I thought, God, man, I look like I'm twice as old as she is. Help me. But nobody helped me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. So, one time uh, she was never been married to nothing, holy and clean and pure. And uh, somebody's wanting to date her. And, and some of the I was down at Brother Ford's church down in Alabama down there. And I went down, I was holding a meeting down there. And, and uh, they was some people talking and she asked me about it said what do you think about this guy I said I don't know all I know is how I feel about you <laughs> made me so upset <laughs> now before God I said that I said boy if you're going to get this woman you better get in high gear around here other people are wanting her too <laughs> but she wouldn't talk to nobody you know that's you know they were supposed to be good people. Amen. So, man, I got out of business with the Lord. And I told her, and she said, uh, I said, I don't know. All I know is how I feel about you. And she said, she went away thinking, what did he mean? <laughs> Boy, it didn't take many hours. She found out what I meant. <laughs> Hallelujah. I called and told her, I said, I want you to be my wife. It'll probably take two or three years for it to happen, but I said, I don't want you to put you on notice now if you say yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory. Thank God I'm number one. <laughs> Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory. That's the best thing that ever happened to me in, in my life. Yes. But that way. Yes. Glory. Praying. You know, I told her, I said, you know, it has to be God. Sometimes she'd get on her knees and she'd stay on her knees four hours. She got a, a one of them prayer things at the end of her bed. And I got one at the end of mine. And, but she got one and she gets up there and sometimes I peep in there, come in, you know, she'd be on her knees. And sometimes she'd be on her knees four hours, two hours. On her knees. Crying out to God, praying not only for me, but praying for revivals, praying for people's needs. All these prayer requests goes home and everything and, and praying over them and praying for people wanting her to pray. People calling at the house wanting prayer. Thank you, Jesus. The brother and sister back there, y'all know how she prays. 
Thank you, Jesus. I want you to know God is real. They worked for us and was there, and they've been. And Sister Becky's uh, helped Sister Terrell in past and everything. And thank you, Lord, and and how kind of praying person she is. Now, she can get mad, but I, I, I ain't seen a woman yet that can't get mad. <laughs> If you say you hadn't, well, you probably need to go home and repent for lying. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I don't mean to be funny, but you know, <laughs> glory, but uh, <laughs> help me, Jesus. I got myself in a mess here. But thank God, I'm just telling you. <laughs> the Lord spoke to me and said, she'll make you somebody to stand with you no matter what happens. My God, thank you. Thank the Lord. I might not be here for, for even on this accident. She would have been such travail. Travail. When the doctors announced I was dead, she was a tore up. She might not remember it, but she was squalling and bawling. Might have been reason that Jesus came and brought me back after 22 minutes. And maybe he won't even be here. I don't know what all. I just hope one day that he come pretty quick. I don't want to die no how. I want to be alive, but I don't want to wait no hundred years. <laughs> Praise God. I want to get on up on her. Because I believe that Jesus is going to prepare a place for you. He's going to prepare a place for me. And he wants us to be ready for him. How many believe that? Didn't the Bible say he went and prepared a place for us? And he's right now, when that's finished, he's coming back. He's right now. You know, a lot of people don't know the history. You know, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God and so forth. But when God spoke to, to Noah way back, spoke to Adam way back, you know, people don't know that, that when God spoke to Adam way back there in uh, thousands of years ago and spoke to Noah and there was great men of God that... that God put that kind of faith, you know, Noah, and uh, you know, you'd like Moses, Moses, you know, I, I, I like that Moses, you know, one, one of Jesus' genealogies taken back to Moses, and that ends his genealogy there. Well, I like Moses, Moses sort of ends my genealogy, because, you know, even though he didn't believe in God, but that mama did. Yeah. See what I'm talking about? Yeah. How many know his mama did? And she just uh, let them people adopt him. Thank you, Jesus, to get that education, to make Moses. We wouldn't even, you know, the Bible said Jesus is genealogy. One of them takes it back to Moses. And the Bible, and the Bible says Jesus as it was, as Moses. Puts him, puts right, Jesus and Moses right in together. Oh, Moses had a mom and a daddy, but Jesus didn't have a daddy. He was fathered by the Holy Ghost, the Virgin Mary. And I want you to know that kind of faith. But it took all of these holy men of God that, that God himself put together together over these 6,000 years that we've had. You hear me? And we're going into the 7,000 year now. He's coming somewhere pretty soon. I believe. He put it all together. He didn't put it together by the churches. He didn't put it together by what this nation believes, what that nation believes. He put it together himself. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with him, and the Word was God, and the Word was with him. And he put it all together, and he summed it up here. Now faith is the substance. Thank God you got to have faith to believe in the Word of God. Now faith is substance of what you need. It's the evidence. It's the proof of what you're going to get. You're not going to come to God in unbelief. If you come to God in faith, he said have faith and doubt not. One scripture, nothing is impossible. Have faith and say to this mountain, I said it to the Ozark. They cut on the TV. I put my clock because I pray about all night lots of these nights and I put my clock to go off before Dan Rather came on when it did him and Walter Conrad came on at 6 o'clock on CBS and they said we got a phenomenal and I was out there in the Ozark myself said they, we had a phenomenal here in the Ozark said while everybody was asleep that big mountain moved one half a mile and nobody even woke up and I just spoke on that about 10, 11 o'clock that God was going to move that mountain before Dan Rather came on. You say, why? God was teaching me faith. 
yes. to bleed it and he moved that mountain he moved that mountain by my faith yes. and I've seen him raise 19 dead people in Guatemala I see him and they had me to go to the grave and I pray for them they get out of the casket not because I'm somebody I'm not no God but faith said all things are possible Lazarus had been dead four days and Jesus raised him from the dead thank God Jesus said the works I do you will do them and greater or more works and deeds start believing in Jesus your faith will move mountains. Your faith will move your family. Your faith will get you through the Antichrist. It'll get you through tribulation. It'll get you through anything the devil attacks you with. Yeah. Yeah. Bible said the walls was what? Frame, but what? The word of God, the word of faith. Everything was, Bible said all things was made by faith. Nothing that was made was made without faith. And God give every one of us a little dab of it. But well, I ain't got none. Well, that right about there is faith. When you don't believe, you believe in, you do not believe in right. Like that old boy that backed that truck. All the way from Chattanooga to Birmingham. He was going to Birmingham, but he's backing up. And God gave him, when I, when I met that old guy, knew him and met him, I said, man, what you? He said, I said, you, you give me a message. That's what faith is. That's what unbelief is. It's still faith, but you're backing up. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. And that's when I started preaching. Don't let faith back you out. Let it put you in. Yes. Let it put you in the kingdom. Let it make you whole. Yes. By faith, the world was framed. By faith, all things was made was made. By faith, nothing that was made was not, nothing was made that wasn't made by faith. In him was life. God give you that. And God give everybody a measure of it. Start acting upon it. Start believing. Don't let everybody else do your believing. You believe yourself. Yes. It works. I said it works and it's always going to work. Unbelief is running backwards. Faith is going forward. It's a substance. What do you need? Faith is what you, that what's going to give it to you. Faith is that money that paid you. Uh, we got some gas. Uh, not. Uh, we bought gas. Maybe I forgot you. I don't know. But anyway, we filled up but you know what paid for it? Faith. Money. Yes, sir. The van's full. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. Faith. Faith was a substance of that gas. Yes, sir. If you go out and eat, if you got food to eat on your table now, faith is what put it on your table. Amen. You hear me? Yes, sir. If you drive tonight, faith is what put you in that automobile. Right. Faith. Everything you got comes by faith. Right. Nothing you get. You say, well, I don't believe. I doubt. Well, faith backed you out of it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You hear what I'm telling you? You, just, you? you believe, but you believe in backwards. Turn it around. Don't do like an old boy back all the way from Chattanooga to Birmingham. I went and showed him how to get that thing out of that gear, and he put it up. He said, man, I wish you'd been up there. Well, I said, I'm just a man of faith, and I just turned you around. That's all faith, that's all faith does. It turns you around, puts you in, in double low, puts you in high gear, puts you in drive, and faith backs you out. That's right. Have faith and doubt not. Yes. Peter, I mean, uh, Mark said, all things are possible to you. Everything in the world is possible to you by faith. Right. Nothing was made. All things was made by faith. All creation was made by faith. Man was made by faith. God believed. I'll finish this up. I got some more scripture. Matthews, I mean Hebrews 11, 1 through 6. Faith. Could I read it to you and then we'll pray.
Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen by it. The elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the world was framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear by faith. Adam offered to God a more excellent uh, sacrifice than Cain by which he obtained witness, Abel, witness that he pleased obtained witness that he was righteous. God testified of his gift and by faith being dead yet he lived. He told on Cain and killed him. By faith Enoch was translated. He should not see death. See death and was not because God had translated him before his translating he had this testimony that he pleased God of faith. Without faith it is impossible to please him for he that comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a reward to them that diligently seek him and on and on. Enoch 7 tells about it. By faith Abraham believed God. By faith he so journeyed. All that that whole chapter Mark 11 faith Mark 9 faith you'll find that word faith probably in the Bible more than any other word in the word of God especially in the New Testament. It works. Right now I want you to just if you wanted to stand you can but I want you to pray this prayer with me. Let's just stand up and pray this prayer. And then we're going to pray for some sick folks. We will have altar calls, but I just want you to pray this prayer. Thank the Lord. You know, God can forgive you of your sin in your seat as easy as He can forgive you at the altar. So just put your right hand over your heart. And I always pray this all the time. I, this is one of my stay saved prayers. Pray this prayer with me. And I'll speak a few words and halt and let you repeat it and then I'll speak again. God, I confess that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For you, God, sent not your Son into the world to condemn the world or to judge the world, but that the world through Him might have life. Whoever believes in the only begotten Son of God shall be saved. Jesus, I confess that all my sins are washed away and I receive renewal of my salvation or to forgive me of my sins that I am clean through the blood of Jesus. I accept and confess that you are my Lord and my Savior, my baptizer in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Now put your hands up right now. Hold them a moment if you would. Father, right now, through your love, through your grace, and through your mercy, God, I admit if there's any sin or failures or shortcoming, God, I remit these sins. He says, whoever sins we remit shall be remitted, and whoever sins we retained, they'll be retained. And God, I'm not going across the country now. All these nations, over 200 of them, preaching this kind of gospel to retain people, but to show them that we have a Savior. We have a, a true, in the beginning was God, and, and was the Word, and the Word was you. And we believe it, God. We believe you was the Word, made flesh through Jesus. We behold Jesus as the Lamb of God that took away our sins. And I ask you, right now, anything in anyone's life, move it. Give them a fresh start. Lord, I know a lot of times churches makes it hard to get saved. Got to go through so many gimmicks and many of this and many of that. But God, when that little Baptist preacher read that Romans 10 and 9 and John 3, 16 when I was just a teen, God, and I'd been to the altar many times, but nobody never 
explain that to me. They never explain that you so love the world. They never explain Romans 10 and 9 and 10 and 11. To me, when he read it to me, Lord, Jesus, I gave up the opera and I gave up my past. Jesus, become one of your followers. And I didn't mean to be a preacher. Jesus, later that happened. But I thank you. And I'll always thank you. That I didn't choose you. You chose me. God, to take this gospel to every country and nation on the face of the earth. And it's almost happened, Lord. Just give me ten years, five years, ever long you know what it take. I'll get there some way. Bless this people. Bless this green of me. And been here in a while, Lord. Bring many souls and renew our faith and renew our vows and renew the Holy Ghost in us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You might be seated now. I'm going to pray for some sick. Thank God we'll have to get that table over here. Uh, and I'm not that one. I believe that little one will be okay back there. Thank you. If you're sick, I want you to get in the line over here. I want to pray for